Hello everybody. The people those who are new to this channel, I want to give you a short introduction about myself. My name is Sonam Kalonia and I have completed my masters from Indian Institute of Technology Bhubaneswar. And currently I am pursuing my PhD from Germany. The people those who are related to chemistry, they must know that Coulomb chromatography is a technique in which we separate out our compound from a mixture based on their polarity. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to perform a column chromatography, both the wet load and the dry load. So stay tuned. So when we want to start our column chromatography, the first question which came in our mind is the size of column. Which size of column should be the best one for our separation? The smaller diameter and the longer in size or the shorter with a bigger diameter or the huge elephant size of column. So all these depend upon the polarity difference and the amount of pure compound of course. Because column chromatography is carried out with a mixture of two solvent with a polar and non-polar component, that's why we need to prepare TLC before starting column to get an idea about the solvent ratios which we are going to use further for the column chromatography. Since I have already measured that on 20% polarity, which means 20 ml ethyl acetate and 80 ml anhexane if we prepared a 100 ml solution. So it's going to give a separation like this and it is a very good separation. So before starting the column, you have to make sure that column should be very straight and for that you need to clamp it with two clamps. And of course you need to wear lab coat gloves and glasses for the protection. So we are ready with our column, cotton, screw and a rack of test tubes. The very first thing which we require is this cotton to close the nozzle like this. We need to take sufficient amount of cotton as shown in picture also and press tightly with the help of glass rod to close the opening of nozzle. After closing the nozzle with cotton, we need to add sand on top of it up to a uniform cylindrical surface has been achieved. Now it's a time to make slurry for the column. Solvent is added to silica and pour onto the column as a slurry material. Then pack with pressure. Make sure to avoid cracks while packaging. Moving toward the most important part of column chromatography is to load the sample. It has two ways, either wet load or dry load. For wet load, you need to dissolve compound into minimum amount of solvent and directly pour onto the top of column. And for dry load, we need to dissolve compound in enough amount of solvent, add small amount of silica and evaporate the solvent completely using rotary evaporator and you would have fine dry powder to load on the top of the column. The eluent is the solvent or mobile phase that passes through the column when the polarity of eluent matches with the polarity of molecule in the sample, the molecule deadsorbed from solid stationary phase and dissolved in eluent moves depending on their relative affinity and then we can collect different fragments in test tubes. Cracks and bubble in packaging of silica are major cause of failure of column chromatography because they leads to mixing of fraction and this cause when the solvent level drop down that of silica or maybe because of reverse pressure. Some of the bigger column already has silica pad inside it. In that case, we need not to use cotton or sand in the bottom of column but always use either sand or cotton on the top of silica packaging to avoid the disturbance on the surface. So this is the time to get some more hint or tricks about the performance of column chromatography. Always stick the column very straight to avoid the polarity mixing. And the second one I would like to prefer these kind of pressure pump to get a dense packaging of silica and that will also help you in avoiding the cracks in between the column. 
and the third and the most important one is always make your slurry into the same eluent or the same polarity solution which you are going to use for the separation it will also help you in preventing the decrease in polarity of your eluent of course so i would like to wish you a best of luck for your next column and then see you in the next video till then bye bye